An SQL database is basically a collection of data, having some entities, their relationships, and their description. For example, a university database might contain elements such as students, faculty, courses, and classrooms. And the relationship between them could be the students' enrollment in courses, faculty teaching the courses, and the use of the classrooms by both the students and the teachers for conducting the classes. In an SQL database, the data is stored in tables which have columns and rows. Columns of the table contain the description of the entities, such as ID, name, etc., and the rows of the table contain the data for those entities. An SQL database can contain more than one table at the same time, with each table identified with a name. You can use queries in SQL to tabulate, display, and change the data stored in these tables. For example, if you want to display the data stored in the table, you can use the SELECT keyword followed by the table name. This whole query over here can be identified as an SQL statement, and right now we are fetching all the records from the employee table over here. All of that data will be displayed below the query editor. And that's it for a basic introduction on SQL databases.